with Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Play with Dave, and welcome back to Secret of Mana. I am surrounded by dwarfs. <laughs> okay. First things first, because it's going to cost a lot of money. We need to go up here and talk to this guy. This guy is going to be our best friend in, for throughout the entireness of this game. Say, show me that sword! It's covered with rust! I'll break it in no time! I am Watts, the blacksmith! I'll reforge it for 100 GP! Please do! Right! Wait a sec! It's done! I've never seen a sword as fine as this in my life! I hope someday I can forge a splendid sword! Huh? What on earth? My hammer started to glow. Wait just a minute! That must be the Mana Sword! Astonishing! Perhaps the power of the Mana Sword has seeped into my hammer. Great! Think I'll try and make an axe with this. Come back in a while. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and put the sword back on. Since it's leveled up now. And... Da, da. Gonna go up here, and we're gonna buy some stuff. Come on, there we go. What will it be? Okay, I can't rem- Now, they, here's the trick. They're, they don't tell you in this menu um, what is the best option to buy, but you can tell by which is the most expensive, which is this one. So we need one of these. And I think it's the spiky suit. Yep, spiky suit. And we'll buy the headgear. To replace our bandana. Alright, now definitely need some of these. I think you can only hold four at a time, so I'll buy three just in case I come across some in some chests. And I'll go ahead and buy one of these because we gotta have some money. I can't remember how much money we need, but we're gonna need some money. Uh, gonna throw this on, and then we'll sell our old stuff to make back a little bit of money. Oh yeah, that's much better. Much better. Much better! Now I'm protected. Now I feel better. Stop getting my ass beat by everybody. Alright, we're gonna sell that stuff off. You can sell items, too. And, oops, wrong button. There we go. Alright. No, nothing else. Thank you, kind sir. Now let's go rest at the inn to restore our health. Also save our game while we're at it. Yeah! Yes, save the game. There we go. Now to continue on with the quest. Because, see, you're just supposed to come here and uh, find somebody to forge the sword for you, which we just did. And if you don't do anything else, if you don't do any kind of exploring, you wouldn't know that you should come here to progress the story. Otherwise, you know, you're just dead in the water. Step right on in! It's the Dwarf Village's world-famous exhibit hut! It'll be 50 gold P. Gold P? <laughs> I just combined gold pieces with GP. That was funny. Okay. Pay him up. Yeah, I think it's 100 that we need now. The show's just starting! First, cast your eyes on this rabbit man! The only one in the world! Take one rabbit and one man, and it's Rabbit Man! <laughs> that that whistle was me, that's why I started throwing up my arm. It was like, yeah, that's cool! Hey you, pipe down! And now, presenting an actual and very rare Sprite Child! <laughs> ah, won't you please help me? Yes, folks, it's pure tragedy. Weep as you hear his story. This poor child has a 50,000 GP debt to pay off. It's here, working off the debt bit by bit. Oh, please, gentle people. 
please help it. Even a hundred GP will help. Okay. And he just instantly, like, gets bigger. Oh, joy! Thank you! I'll take that. Thank you so much. Here's the thing. I don't know if this character is male, female, or gender neutral. I, I, I've never really known. <laughs> well, how was that? What an actor I am! That guy was even crying! Well, I wasn't too bad myself. <laughs> We're going to make a fortune! Oh, are you now, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Ay! Did you overhear what we just said? P please forgive us. This child really is a sprite child. It used to live in the sprite forest, but a flood brought it here. I thought I'd help it earn the money to return home. Good idea, huh? Hey, you have to apologize too. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. I'm ashamed of myself. I'll return your money. So we get our money back. So it doesn't even matter that we spend it. We just get it right back. So then we go to leave. But there's an earthquake. <laughs> what on earth? Something's coming! <laughs> Someone coming. I don't know if anyone will get that reference or not. But it makes me laugh. So we just get a random boss battle. Well, not really random. It's, you know, progressed in the story. But they really don't explain why this thing is here. It just showed up. Well, there's, you know, monsters showing up all over the world. Because, you know, mana is out of balance. But, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna try a charge attack this time. See if I can get him. There we go. Didn't really do that much more. Better just uh, hit him normally. Those things get annoying. You can take him out. It doesn't do any damage to his overall health, but just keeps you from getting bothered by him all the time. He should be dead pretty soon. It's just a cat and mouse boss battle. Okay, one more ought to do it. There. It's like, come on, blow up already. Quit chasing me. Oh, come on! If that had been a full hit, that probably would have done it. There. Ah! Yep, see, I knew it. Alright. That wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah, 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 yeah! Way to go! Spears Orb. That's why we needed the extra money, because we're going to have to pay for the axe and also to pay for the spear to be upgraded. <laughs> Thank you so much! I didn't need your help! Hey! Sorry about that. This child received such a shock from drifting here, it lost all its memories. It really is a nice child. It plays tricks as peop on people sometimes, though. Come on, old-timer! Give me a break! Take it easy! Tropicalo broke out of a sealed palace. That's... Okay, there's your backstory for the for the boss there. There must be a way into it. Your memory might return if you receive some mana power from this mana seed. What? Really? I'll go now! Right now! Not alone. The palace was buried. There must be tons of monsters by now. Would you be so kind as to accompany the sprite to the palace? Yes. What luck? Did you hear that, little one? So now we talk to him. Hey, brother! Brother, my name is Kyrath! Okay, so... Why don't you... So, oh, no. okay, say, why don't you name me too? That'll make it easier on you. Please name this little sprite. So, yeah, again, uh, canonically they added an actual name for this guy. But we're gonna call him... Pip. Short for Pipsqueak. Pip? What kind of name is that? Like, uh, nice to meet you. 
Pip joined! Yay! We're two-thirds of the way done! Okay, so one thing you want to do... See, each character has their own menu, too. Uh, you know, this one is mine. It's got the uh, the blue outline there around ACT. And then you hit um, your X button, and it brings up this for Pip. I named him Pip because, like I said, it's a gender-neutral gender, gender neutral name. I don't know if it's supposed to be a boy or a girl. So, Pip Squeak, Pip, that's a good gender-neutral name. Anyway, so we're going to change his uh, action grid. See, we want him to attack, but we don't really want him to, like, rush in like that. So, we're going to keep him right about here is where I like to have him. And he's got a boomerang, and, you know, we can equip that boomerang if we want, but I don't think I'll mess with it. Good luck! You can get to the palace by way of a hole over there. But there is a lava field which Eleni made to seal the palace. First, you have to go to Eleni's castle to ask her to dissolve her seal. Eleni used to be a good witch, but she's not anymore. Go north to the haunted forest. Find her castle and ask her to open the seal. Here are our bow and arrows we found along the with the little one. Take them. Okay. That reminds me. Watts the blacksmith was looking for you. Visit his workshop. Uh, of course we're going to visit his workshop. Because he made an axe for us. And we need to get our spear upgraded. I, I didn't mean to attack you, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I tried making an axe, but it's no good. Wonder why. Got a boomerang, huh? Wait, I know! Try holding this axe! That's it! Mana power in these weapons doesn't work until you hold them! This axe is mighty special. You could even smash a boulder with it. Take it with you for 100 GP. Sure! There should be more mana weapons to find. Bring them to me! They need to be forged to release any mana received from the orbs. And only I can do it. Now, let me show you a shortcut. Yeah, this is really cool. We don't have to go through all those caves like we did to get back here. We got a shortcut. This will make it a lot easier for you. Okay, talk to me, buddy. Okay, which one's ready? The spear is ready. Oh, it's 200. Damn. So I don't think I'm gonna... Let's see, what do you have? He's got jack shit other than a midrobe, so... Damn, we're going to have to do a little bit of grinding so we can buy him some equipment because I don't think I have enough money to buy him anything. Let's double check. Let's see exactly how much I need. Buy. Okay, so he needs one of these and that's 150 alone. And he also could use that. So yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of fighting in order to get some money to buy him some stuff because you don't want to I don't want to go any further I, I especially don't want to go to the haunted forest which by the way that's where major dialogue was going just a little hintedy hint hit to some future events and uh, yeah so I'm gonna do some grinding we're gonna make some gold and get Pip all equipped and ready to go and then we'll start the next episode but until then, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I'll be back later with another video. I hope to see you there. My name is Dave, and I am the One Man Rave. See ya!